Hi everyone, it's Ben from Trekkit and we're out here in the beautiful Three Cliffs Bay. Three Cliffs are actually just behind us over there, directly behind the camera. Um, and in today's inside look video, we're gonna go through the Biolite Camp Stove 2 Plus. Over the course of this video, we'll go through what it is, what it does, why we think it's so great, and we'll also show you how to use this stove. It won't be a complete user guide, but we will be using this stove. We have actually already used it once, that's why it's a little bit burnt on the inside. But we'll go through what this stove is, what it does, all that fun stuff. So stay tuned and find out a little bit more about it. So first and foremost, with the BioLite stove, it is a little bit different to a lot of the other stoves that we sell, in the sense that it doesn't actually use gas or liquid fuel to cook food, to do anything that a stove might otherwise do. Instead, it uses biomass, whether that be sticks, don't know whether you can see those in the shop, but we collect some sticks on the way, twigs, leaves, small bits of biomass, or um, BioLite's own wood pellets that are sort of prefabricated pellets that are designed to go into this stove to have a very efficient burn. It does this in quite a clever way, in the sense that you load up the main compartment here with fuel, and then this big orange thing that's on the side here that does come off for transport, so this actually goes inside the stove to make it a little bit more compact. This is not only a fan to increase the efficiency of the burn, so you've got a fan on the back here and a little vent inlay here. So this, is, this has a battery in it that will then propel air into, yeah, inside the stove to create a more efficient burn. So it should, in theory, be somewhat smokeless. It does take a little while to get there, especially if you have slightly wetter material that you're gonna be using in here. This really favors very dry material. But this battery not only has a fan that then blows in here to make the, the burn more efficient, this spout that's at the top, when it's inside the stove, back inside like that, and then locks into place with the last foot. So inside the stove like this, when the fire is burning inside it, it's a thermoelectric generator. So it's a temperature probe there that then uses the extra heat that's created by the stove to actually charge the internal battery here. So not only do you have it to power the fan, um, but you can also then on the front use the USB port that's included here to charge your devices. So it's really useful if you're on a campsite and you need to boil some water, you need to cook some food, but you also need to charge your phone or wherever it's gone, I think it's a little bit too far out of shot for me to grab, you can use the included BioLite torch, which looks a little something like this. So this guy will stick straight into the front of the device, into that USB port, a little something like that. And if I tap it on, you probably can't see it too well on camera here, but you can either illuminate what's going on here, use it as a more of an ambient light if you're at a campsite after dark, but equally you can use this guy to charge your phone. And we used this last night at our campsite and it does successfully charge a mobile phone. So the Camp Stove 2 Plus is not necessarily gonna be the stove that you grab if you're really into lightweight backpacking. It comes in still sub one kilo, but it comes in about 935 grams. So it is on the heavier side compared to say, a Primus Mimus stove, an MSR Pocket Rocket, something like that, that would essentially be able to boil water in a similar sort of time frame to something like this. Once you've got it all going and burning, obviously with a gas stove, you turn it on, click, and it's hot. This one does take a while to get hot. This is more designed for people that are potentially going to be car camping, slightly slower pace of life, or you've got devices to charge. It's really useful if you've got the kids, kids involved, things like that, so you can get them a little bit excited about a little campfire, but they can also charge up the mobiles and all of that fun stuff. So might not want to take it backpacking because it is a little bit heavier than other devices, but it is a similar sort of pack size to um, say a Primus Light Plus, a, a Jetboil Flash, Jetboil Zip, something like that when it's all put together, but it is a little bit heavier. That's the only thing worth mentioning, but now we're gonna show you how this thing works. So in order to light this stove, it is a little bit different than some others. It does require a source of ignition. So I have a lighter today and a flame source is ideally better than sort of a, a flint and steel or a piezo igniter, just because you do actually need, want a flame for this to ignite because there's no gas to ignite. It does need an actual flame. So we'll be using that. On the way down here to the beach today, because there's not many trees actually on the beach, we did collect some nice dry bits of tinder, a little, little bit of brush there, and some slightly larger bits that are also nice and dry. 
but in order to get this going, BioLite do include some fire starters. They're not strictly necessary, but seeing as they're included, we're going to use them. So you can light this, pop that in there, and that is an all natural fire starter as well. So it doesn't contain any chemicals or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about any extra pollutants. It works rather well. So we can light that and then you start loading the stove up with some of the smaller twigs, sticks and leaves to get a base going. And once you start that, you can turn, once you've got a little fire going, you then turn the fan on using the button on the front here to get the device actually going. And then once the fire gets a little bit hotter, you start feeding in bigger sticks and turn the fan speed up, which will then create a much more efficient burn, which should cut down on smoke and make it nearly smokeless, if not completely, depending on how dry everything is that you're using. So that's the BioLite Camp Stove 2 Plus. Should give you a quick rundown of what it is, what it does, primarily using biomass. It does take a little while to get going, but once it's going and that fan kicks in, you can probably still see here on camera, it goes quite well. And now would be a perfect opportunity to throw a pot on there to boil water with for a dehydrated meal. You could cook on this stove. The only thing to bear in mind is you need to make sure that the sticks physically go below the line of the pot support that's built into the top of this stove, because otherwise your pot will fall off and then you'll be sad. We really like this stove. It works really well in situations where you're happy to carry a little bit more weight or you want a battery bank that you can charge up using sticks and leaves. As I said earlier, it's really great for the kids. They love this sort of thing and me being a big kid, I really love it too. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about it and the rest of the BioLite range, we'll pop a link down below or on screen. But that about wraps it up from us on the BioLite Camp Stove 2 Plus. I'm gonna go and cook something on it now. We'll see you in the next one. You take care.